Our today's anime starts with our MC, Aji and his cat Miyobu. Aji basically lives alone and he's been great at cooking since his childhood. One day he makes the perfect bowl of ramen he ever made. Suddenly a hot girl pops out of nowhere in his kitchen. In shock, Aji drops the bowl of ramen, but the girl instantly grabs it and devours it. After that, the mysterious girl introduces herself as Hephaestus, Aphrodite, Athena and she in short, Dora. Aji don't give a crap about her and throw her out, but she comes back right in. So Aji tries to get rid of her, but eventually he fails every time. Seeing that he can't get rid of her, Aji asks three questions. What the heck is she? Why is she here? And how can he get rid of her? She tells Aji that she is a summoned spirit. And the hot girl he just saw was her complete form. Currently, she is in her power saving mode. She offers Ajay she can fulfill his any wishes. She tells she can make him rich or give him unimaginable power or she can even make him a rock star. But he is not interested in any of it. Yet she tells him to make a contract with him. But the guy just had enough about it. So Ajay offers food to spirit expecting that he can get rid of her. But Dora tells Ajay if a master leaves the spirit, they wander around the world all alone till they fade away. But Dora doesn't force Ajay, instead she tells Ajay to have a walk with her. While walking, Dora reveals that everyone has potential for being a summoner, and the one who realize their own potential are known as summoners. Dora makes Ajay realize his own power. With it, Dora reaches out to Ajay, and she instantly makes a contract with him. Turns out she tricked Ajay into making a contract with her. So Ajay wanna know everything about summoning and stuffs. So Dora tries to recall everything, but she passes out. Seems like her memory is sealed away. After that, just the other day while hanging out, a plant spirit attacked Dora and swallows her up and ran away. And Dora can't use her power because if a spirit is away from their master at a distance, they gradually become weak. So Ajay finally catches up with the plant and Dora regained her power to free herself. But the master of plant spirit shows up and takes her spirit away. After that, the mysterious attacker shows up at Ajay's school and gives him a letter. In the letter, she told him to meet with her in the forest after school. So in the forest, they threaten Ajay to give Dora to them. But Ajay naturally refuses to hand over Dora to them. Seeing Ajay refuses to hand over Dora to them, plant spirit attack them but Ajay defeats the spirit on his own. Seeing an opening, Dora attacks the spirit master but Ajay stops her because she was holding herself back quite a bit in their fight. After that, Ajay invites them to a dinner. While having dinner, Plant Spirit explains that there are two types of spirits, Guardian and Evil, and reveals that the two of them are one of the Guardians. After a while, she tells the name to Ajay and tells that she's gonna keep an eye on them from now on. Later on in classroom, a giraffe shows up with some raccoon guests and they turn the whole class upside down. But it wasn't just the classroom, the whole area was chaotic from sudden outburst of zoo animals. And the one who was controlling them was another summoner. Between all this mess, Aji sees Mio Wu and tries to take her away. But she refuses to go with him. After that, Hannah comes up and subdued all the animals. Seeing her power, Cat Summoner attacks Hannah and even Hannah was surprised by her power. Seeing their overall power were equally matched, so Aji and Dora takes their stance and stops the fight before they kill each other. And reveals the real summoner is his cat Mio Wu. Well, on that basis, Plant Spirit wants Aji to hand over the cat once again, Ajay refuses to give her up. After patching up Miyobu's injuries, Miyobu tells Ajay that she came here to search for her brother, who abandoned her and while following her brother, she got injured and because of that, she lost power as a summoner, but temporarily. After all that in morning, Bunche MIB shows up at Ajay's door to invite all of them for dinner at Hannah's place. Arriving at Hannah's home, they meet Harlan, Hannah's grandfather. Hannah's grandfather is one of the most powerful summoner. So Harlan starts from the beginning that the center of spirit is a crystal and for that human waged war countless times. Since then, summoners who don't mess with nature are called watcher or guardian. And the greedy ones who wanted all the power for themselves are called destroyers. After explaining Harlan wants Ajay to pick a side, but Ajay wasn't interested in any of it so he refuses to join any side. Hearing that Harlan tells everyone that Ajay was abandoned by his own parents he lived with his foster parents till he was capable enough to live on his own. And not just about Ajay, Harlan tells me about the brother she's been searching for all this time is a deadly criminal and a destroyer. And suddenly, one of the destroyers shows up to attack Harlan. While leaving the place, another destroyer comes forward and attacks Hannah. Hannah tries to fight her off but the third figure shows up 
dealing a fatal blow to Hannah. Seeing that Harlan quickly uses his power to save Hannah, but seeing he is opening, everyone attacks Harlan together and deal a fatal blow. In the brink of death, Harlan releases his true spiritual power in hope to defeat everyone all at once. But the leader of Destroy makes his move and steals all of Harlan's spiritual power away. After achieving their goal, Destroy leaves the place completely destroyed. After a while at Ajay's home, Ajay finds a video of their fight on internet. So Ajay suspects the one who uploaded the video can be a summoner, and hopes to find him and to counterattack the destroyers. So Dora, Ajay, and Miyu. Mits with Stan, the person who uploaded the video, while having a conversation, they suddenly got attacked by a laser. So they tries to run away, but the attackers were several robots and were chasing after them. So they all jumped down from the bridge and lands in a car that is controlled by Stan and hopes to leave them behind. So that's it for today, everyone. This is just a part one of the full video. I'm gonna upload the part two real soon. So stay tuned, guys, and subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Till next time everyone take care